Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Player Mouse. There's kind of an urban myth that if you shoot a air rifle pellet backwards, it acts like a hollow point and creates a big cavity and a lot more destruction. Now I always thought that the people that were telling me this were just imagining things and exaggerating maybe or just flat out lying. So we're going to find out if this theory is true or not. A viewer named Clyde was kind enough to send us a whole bunch of these Lyman slugs that he cast, and he also included a video showing the destruction of some gel that he shot with a slug in the normal configuration. All right, just shot a ballistics gel block with a Lyman 525 slug. We have complete penetration through the block. I'm gonna try and cut it open, see what kind of damage we have. Definitely, uh, definitely wouldn't want to be on the other end of that. Whether or not this block is up to specs, that I don't know. But it chewed clean through that block with little to no effort. Well, tough flavor mouse, see what this does in slow motion. We're back at our local rifle range and if you're ever in the area come check this range out it's open to the public most guys that shoot these Lyman slugs do a complete reload themselves but we're gonna kinda cheat here and use a federal birdshot shell we use the mountain storm shell prepping tool to neatly cut out that crimp and then we'll take that crimp and stick it at the bottom of the shell and use it as a nitro card which is kinda like a big spacer next we just press the slug into the shell using our fingers and it locks in there nice and tight and super neat. Now inside this shell we have what's called a two-piece wadding. This is pretty exclusive to the federal shells but most shells use a wadding that looks like this, a one-piece wadding. Typically the reloader guys will find a certain type of wadding or certain brand that works best for them just from trial and error. Since we no longer have that nose heavy configuration anymore, we have to rely on angular momentum or spin stabilization to keep that slug flying straight through the air. We do that with this rifle choke tube. You can see that just the shot cup comes in contact with that rifling so you don't get any lead fouling at all. And finally I took a red marker pen so if the slug flips around in flight we'll have a better chance of seeing what's happening. First Nick will shoot a forward facing slug just to show you how nice of a slug these things really are yeah it was off to the left okay. almost immediately we see the release of the shot cup nitro card and the pellet and that's what it's supposed to look like the Lyman 525 slug is just a very impressive slug, especially for one you cast yourself. What happens when you shoot a Lyman slug backwards? Clyde wants to find out, so we're going to do this for him. It went to the right and a little high. Murphy's Law strikes again. When we filmed this, we thought we had a very good representative shot of a backward slug, but we see a lot of things going wrong in, in this shot. Now we don't see the same nice separation that we saw in the first shot. In fact, the, the slug is still riding in the shot cup, and it doesn't release until about maybe three or four meters before it hits the target. And it just gets weirder and weirder. You see the power piston flying off to the left of the slug, the slug is tumbling through the air and then for some reason we see the nitro card being released before the shot cup which is really weird and despite all this mess going on somehow the slug is still very accurate but don't start smashing holes in your trailer house walls yet we have one more chance to prove or disprove the backwards pellet theory 
Will we finally be able to get one to fly straight and will it do more damage than a forward facing slug? <laughs> And finally, we get results. We can see it has a good release from the shot cup and the nitro card. And that slug just really put a hurt on these ballistic gel gummy bears. Quad damage. Now if you look real close, you can see a big portion of the slug had passed all the way through all the gummy bears and then hit the dirt behind them. And in this shot, you can really see how stable that slug is flying through the air backwards. You can actually see some lead fragmentation shooting outwards just behind bear number one. And all in all, that slug released a lot of nastification on these ballistic gel gummy bears. So did it do more damage? Did something different happen? And yes, it did. This is bear number two. Bear number one it started melting on us from sitting out in the sun. But inside number two, in that ripped neck cavity, we found these pieces of the skirt that were ripped off the slug as it entered about six inches of, of the gel. So not only did we have that massive transfer of, of energy almost immediately, we had fragmentation and the remaining part of the slug passed through the rest of the bears, leaving a very small little hole. So if you think that shooting a pellet backwards does more damage, you're absolutely right and I am wrong again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Research continues.